Good morning, everybody. This is Alicia Katz Pollock at RoyalWise.com, and welcome to One Page Business Plans uh, with Mariette Martinez. I'm personally really excited about today because uh, Mariette and I have been working together through the Intuit Trainer Writer Network to give QuickBooks Online trainings, and she's been such a proponent of small businesses and getting bookkeeping businesses off the ground. And because I mostly focus on software, I thought that this would be an amazing opportunity to extend my QuickBooks library and include some business training as well. So a little bit about me. Now, today, I'm mostly the voice behind the curtain. Uh, my name is Alicia katz Pollock, and I know most of the people on the call, but not everybody today. I am a top 10 pro advisor from Insightful Accountant. The category I got was Appologist this year. And I'm a member of the Intuit Trainer Writer Network. And so you know, when we have the road show, I go around the country and do QuickBooks trainings, or I speak at Scaling New Heights and QuickBooks Connect and write for Insightful Accountant. But here at RoyalWise.com, I've put together a QuickBooks online training portal where it's a kind of a place where you can learn pretty much everything there is to learn about QuickBooks online. And it's not just QuickBooks. We also do Apple and Microsoft Office as well. So lots of live classes like this or a whole on-demand library. And I've also written some books. If you search for my name on Amazon, I have a Master QuickBooks Online from Setup to Tax Time. And I'm actually going to be giving away a copy at the end today. Um, and I have some other books as well. But that's enough about me. I'm just the host today. Um, today, um, we have Mary with us. And most of you are already familiar with Mariette. And she's just a dynamo and a power powerhouse in this very small package with this gigantic personality where she has a website called Master Your Books, where she helps bookkeepers you know, gain the confidence that they need and the knowledge that they need so that they can uh, serve their clients really well. And, um, you know, as on the, the practical side and on the technical side, she's been in the industry for over 20 years. And, you know, knows the software inside and out. She's an IRS enrolled agent, so she knows the bridge between the QuickBooks from the bookkeeping side to the tax side. Uh, do you have anything else about yourself that you would like to add, Mariette? No, I'm just excited <laughs> to be here. I think what's really important, and what I'm, I'm just like, I'm literally going to be bursting today, so I may have to like <laughs> take it down. Um, but I just love this opportunity that you know we're sharing with the world that we can collaborate and that magic really just gets exponentially built and developed through partnerships like this. And, um, and so just being able to connect our communities, being able to have them together, having them enlighten each other and one another, really, that's what this is all about. So if you look at that picture, that's like a recent uh, bio image I have, I used to have a, you know, the basic one, very professional. And that one was in the backyard. I had my daughter, 15 years old, take pictures of me. And that's kind of what I'll leave you with is that this is as simple as you want it to be, you know, grab a phone, grab a child or a grandchild and just tell them to take a picture of who you are. That's really what today's about. It's uh -huh. about going inward. So I'm excited about that. Oh, that's fantastic. It's a beautiful picture. That's cool. That was your daughter who took it. Um, so today there are a lot of different handouts that go along with the workshop. Like this is going to be a hands-on workshop. And so there's a workbook, there's a one-page worksheet, there's a PDF of the slides. And so I wanted to show you where to go to find those things right here. So when you log in at royalwise.com, you use the same username and password that you used when you registered for today's class. And when you're are on your dashboard, you will see Mariette's class right down here. So you find that one page business plans that rock and you go ahead and click on that. And when that takes you in, there's different sections. So, but here's download the handouts. And so I'll click on the link for download the handouts. And so here you are going to see the PDFs for all of the uh, different um, handouts. So there's the one page section. Here's a whole workbook, multiple pages. And inside these frames here, you can look at it or you can click on the link and open them up in their new tabs. And I think for today, Mariette's preference is that you actually print these out because there's something to be said for actually handwriting on the paper. And so I'm going to encourage everybody to go in right now and print these out. And if you want to fill them in digitally, that's fine. But then you got to muck with the technology as well as 
process your your inner self and bring out your inner self onto these papers. So that's where you'll go for those two pieces. So the first two is the one page business plan summary. Then there's the workbook. And then there is also uh, the slide deck with notes for the individual slides from the presentation. There's also a bonus down here. And this is just a little bit about Royal Wise and uh, some of the different classes that I offer to help you with the QuickBooks component of your practice. And uh, we will have Q&A throughout the whole session. I think Mariette wants this to be as interactive as possible. So everybody um, has the ability to unmute yourself and talk. Um, it looks like most people have their cameras on. It would be great if everybody had your camera on, although I know some people are a little shy, uh, but we really wanna kind of have this conversation as a group today. So I'm going to stop my screen share and I am going to turn it over to Mariette. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to close. I'm going to keep the panel of the videos on. As Alicia said, I love seeing the videos. It brings me so much energy. And I believe it brings energy to everybody here. So feel free to turn your videos on. Um, I am going to close some screens up so I don't hear background noise. And I only will look at the chat from time to time because that will get me a little distracted. But that doesn't mean I don't want you all chatting. So chat away, stay engaged. And then you'll know when I'm doing more of a like a participation type of exercise because I will either turn my camera on or I will stop sharing things like that. OK, so today's tools, as Alicia mentioned, um, you know, when you decided, hopefully <laughs> when you decided to take today's session, you kind of took a breather, you created some space. I like to call it white space for you to really feel creative, for you to really understand the importance of stepping out of your business to work on your business. And so when it comes to that, that literally for me means clean up. Like even if you have to put everything under your desk or in the cupboards or wherever you can't physically see them, just give yourself that empty white space to think and be creative today. It's super important. Start with a blank white page. Even if you have to dig up the only notepad you have, go to the first page that has nothing on it and just start writing there. Allow yourself a place to start. Amazing. The other thing is we do have some, uh, some exercises we want to do today. So the goal is to get to this one page business plan. So I have been teaching this for a while. Um, not only from an entrepreneur perspective, so with my business owners that wanted to do some kind of business planning, but also now in my master books programs. And of course, this is you're like, that's not a business plan. You're right. This isn't the typical business plan session. We'll talk about that in a moment. This is the information that has helped me and hundreds, if not thousands at this point, entrepreneurs take action. That's what today is about. And um, the other um, workbook I have for all of you is this opportunity to go deeper in topics that are part of that plan, but that really need your attention. And so that's what this Intentional Entrepreneur Workbook is all about. Okay. And I am Miss Paperless. Okay. I'm a huge, huge advocate for saving trees and being paperless, but I also know and have experienced until I put my ideas in writing, it's really hard to take action. So there are still a few things I need to print out and write down. And let me just share how amazing it is when you can go back a year, two years, five years later and say, oh my goodness, this is where I was then. This is where I am now. Or if you wrote yourself what I call a letter to your future self, and you're like, oh, I can literally circle all the things that actually happened to me. So I get goosebumps thinking about it because I've been doing that for over 20 years. Um, and I've seen it happen. I've seen me go back to a letter. Just I've, I found one I can show you during a break from 2016. And everything on there happened. And it's just amazing because you're literally speaking to your future self. So that's how I definitely want to start. I also always want to be grateful for our guides today. I'm not the only one here. So we have team Royal Wise, which of course is Alicia. I love how she says she's behind the curtains. By the way, Alicia, you're never behind the curtains. Okay. You're always in front of the curtains. You're so powerful. You're so inspirational. I'm so grateful that you have asked me to uh, be a, a co-guide with you today. Um, we also have her team Jeff on here. And so he's going to be helping us in the background. And I was able to bring my my team as well, Danielle Cahill, she's here as well. She's my master books community leader. And so we're all here together. So that always gets me very excited. Okay, 
So let's officially start here. The one page business plan. And now from time to time, I will turn off my camera just because I want you to focus just on the learning. Um, if that means you need to, you know, put your head down, take notes. Don't worry. I'm still going to be looking at you, but I want you to focus on the content. So I will take my camera off for a few minutes. Let's get started. So welcome to the one page business plan presented by Marriott Martinez in collaboration with Alicia Katz, Royal Wise and our shared community. So this is not your ordinary business plan workshop. When I say that as many people, when they think about business plan, they think about the executive summary, the background, the marketing analysis, having to create a budget, having to make sure you can fund your business, building out projections, having a financial plan, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. Is that important? Absolutely. Do you need that usually to get funding? Absolutely. Will your banker or were an investor ask for it? Yes. Okay. So let's just get that out in the open. But guess what? There's resources for that. We're going to provide you those resources. Another one is you can Google it. <laughs> you can Google it. And in five minutes, you're probably going to get the top 10 business plan resources that are available to you. So that's not what today's about. Today's actually about taking action. So as I mentioned before, I've been doing this for probably over 20 years, not necessarily writing out a business plan, but understanding the importance of taking a step back of what I was doing. I can go all the way back to when I decided to go to college, taking a step back and saying, what do I want to go to college for? Why, you know, what am I going to get out of college? How fast do I want to graduate? Three years, five years. Am I going to go to college and have to fund my college, which in my case I did. So it took me five years. So I had to do uh, two and a half years community college and then two and a half years in a four-year university. So I had to make a plan, okay? And then I had to actually write it down and take action on it. So I've been doing this for over two decades. Now, when I started serving the small business community about, you know, a little bit over two decades ago as well, I started realizing that they needed to, to do it too. And so how could I help them? And so we really pretty have different iterations of what we're going to do today, but it's all about taking action. So I like to say this is a value-driven workshop for intentional entrepreneurs. And why do I say that? It's because all of you I know personally, if you came through Alicia, if you came through me, or if you came through someone sharing about this workshop, you all want to provide value. You all want to provide results and you're driven to create a positive experience for your clients. That's what value-driven means. And all of you here are value-driven. What you also need to become is intentional about what you're doing. And again, just showing up today creates intentionality that you actually want to step into 2022 with purpose, with drive, and with a plan. So you are all intentional entrepreneurs as well. Now, when I go teach Value Driven a little bit more, and these are all, by the way, concepts of several programs that I teach. We may talk a little bit about that towards the end, but this is the, the overall uh, definition of what I mean by Value Driven, okay? Your intentional business is building from the inside out, meaning you're heart-centered, you're human-centered, you're open to share your vulnerabilities to ask for help, and that's what we're going to be doing today. When you start doing that, what you start realizing and stepping into is your purpose. You're like, wow, I actually now know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Until you start talking about it, many times you are not stepping or leaning into your purpose. You need to shout it out on the rooftops and not by yourself with somebody else listening so they can say, hey, Stephanie, let's have a conversation about that. You know, let's go a little deeper into that. So that purpose statement, that opportunity for you to share your purpose is super important. Once you start doing that more and more, then you start realizing, okay, so if I have a purpose to change the world, to impact my clients, to bring value, I need to plan that out. Because I got some big dreams. I got big things I got to do. And so now you realize how important it is to plan. Many people feel this resistance to planning. But ladies and gentlemen, if you got big dreams, you got to plan for those dreams. Okay, you got to plan for those dreams. Then you start realizing, I don't want to do this by myself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the most pivotal part in your business, in your life. I'm done with it. I don't want to do this by myself. 
I've been a solopreneur for two decades. I'm a sole practitioner for five years. I'm stuck. I can't move forward. I feel overwhelmed. It's because you need to bring the people in. You need to bring the human capital, the energy, the people that are going to take you to new places. And that's what ends up happening when you actually take the step to join a session like today. Then these next processes happen. Process. You realize, oh, I got to put a process to this. Okay, I got these dreams. I brought my planning in. I have people now. Well, what are those people going to do, right? <laughs> Hopefully you have some processes because if not, they're left with nothing to do. You got to create some kind of structure, some workflows for that. Then you check on their performance and your own business's performance. And lastly, you're always working towards prosperity. And we're going to talk more about prosperity today. So our session success, so what I believe if we get all this, get through all this in the next two hours-ish, success is going to be, we're going to talk about the basics of a business plan from, again, the perspective of taking action. We're going to have some shares that when we share, we're going to share quickly sometimes, and sometimes we are going to have an opportunity to have a little deeper breakout. We're going to have action tasks, which means we are going to take action. So please have your cell phones away, turn them over, put them on silent, not on vibrate, because you're going to, you know, get a little nudge every time it vibrates on your desk. Silent, please, because you need to stay focused. Now, if you have kids like me, it's hard to go on silent. I get that. But ultimately, the point is, let's just really focus. Then you're going to leave with a one-page business plan that rocks, okay? As much as you can do, that's great. And then we're going to talk about how you continue all of this work by goaling all in. 